The posed body I found on display by the disused docks may provide... Critical clues to the killer's identity. I'm heading there to analyze the crime scene. Alfred, we can add a third victim to the list. This is becoming rather ghastly, sir. It brings to mind a spate of murders at the beginning of your career. It was Halloween then, if I'm not mistaken. Turned out to be rather a long one, if I recall. I'm going to try and identify the body. That particular type of bleaching to the pigmentation of the skin denotes a chemical burn, most likely a chlorine-based substance. Tracheal surgery to remove a cancerous growth has resulted in the victim being fitted with a voice box. Victims suffered a rare genetic disorder, causing them to have six fingers on one hand. Alfred, the victim's name is Allison Weirs. Hmm. She was an engineer employed at Ace Chemicals. That would certainly explain some of her ailments. She moved into a retirement home in Bloodhaven several years ago. Their grounds are adjacent to a large park. That's three victims, all of them abducted in various places around the country. Keep looking for a connection, Alfred. Right you are, sir. Writing by the body suggests the killer has a higher purpose. It's as if these weren't good enough for what he has in mind. Do you think there are other victims? Yes, and I don't know what he has planned for them. Fourth victim. Highly regrettable, Master Bruce. All we can do is hope this body yields some clues as to the killer's identity. This wound is relatively fresh, inflicted while the victim was still alive. Abrasion to the epidermal layers confirms the somewhat crude removal of a tattoo. The position of this scar indicates the victim underwent surgery to remove one of their kidneys. A plate made of tantalum, used here for a cranial fracture, most probably the result of a boxing accident. The victim's callous knuckles would only be acquired by a professional fighter. 
Alfred, the victim's name is Ella Montgomery. Hmm. It appears the kidney was donated to a twin sister who unfortunately died. This seems to have been the catalyst for her boxing pursuits, and hence the cranial injury. She went missing in Huntsville, Alabama. Have you found anything linking the victims? I can find no personal or professional links between the victims, but they each went missing near state parks or playing fields. Try and find anything connecting those places. Of course, sir. I'll look into it. Alfred, I found a fifth victim. I feared you would, sir. I've seen that pattern of scar tissue before. It's a bite mark. Analyzing its radius points to a species of Selacomorpha. This particular variety of shark is only found in the waters off the coast of North Gotham. The victim is fitted with an ocular prosthesis. This specific type of medical grade acrylic was used only once during a trial five years ago. Signs of trauma to the upper arm. At some point, titanium screws have been implanted to repair a fractured humerus. Alfred, the victim's name is Lisa Mendez. Uh, she had quite a troubled upbringing, sir. Orphaned age nine, foster homes, drug abuse. She developed a talent for surfing, hence the shark attack. Tragically, it's also how she lost her boyfriend. She was working for a Christian charity in Tucson, Arizona, when she went missing. Do the details of the disappearance match with the others? They do indeed, sir. Also, your request to cross-reference the parks and playing fields has proved fruitful. I've come across some leasing documentation that appears to have been falsified. Someone is attempting to cover their tracks. Find out anything you can, Alfred. We couldn't have done anything to prevent these deaths, but we can still save others.
Alfred, I've discovered another body. Six victims, Master Bruce. When will this nightmare end? An irregularity on the victim's chest. It appears to be a birthmark, quite distinctive. There's a bullet lodged deep in the upper bicep. This type of ammunition is predominantly used with a hunting rifle that hasn't been manufactured in over a decade. The left foot is missing several toes. The site of amputation suggests the removal of non-viable tissue in the treatment of frostbite. Alfred, I've ID'd the victim as Robert Kincaid. He was a microbiologist who worked for Stag Enterprises. Many believe the shooting was connected to Kincaid's knowledge of controversial research, although that remains unverified. He took a teaching post in Atlanta, which is where he was reported missing. Cross-reference this with the others. See if it fits. It does indeed, sir. Sending you the information now. The Circus of Strange. Its route recently took it through all the locations where the victims went missing. Get me a list of associated names. The circus is run by a rather suspicious fellow named Laszlo Valentin. Search for any properties owned or leased by the suspect. Records show Mr. Valentin used to lease a beauty salon here in Gotham, but the lease expired shortly before construction began on Wayne International Plaza. Send through the location. It's time to end this. <laughs> 